Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. And if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. So listen, I am so sorry, you guys. I normally at Christmas time try to make sure I get a video every day. Um, however, the flu is really bad this year. Flu season is hot and heavy and again, working a lot. So sorry for that, but I'm trying to get as many videos up as I can. So I wanted to, I've been asked a lot to do a video that is a little bit slower to show how to put the beads together and pull it nice and taut to make these keychains. So here's my keychain and I did a video on it and I'm sorry, my lighting is really weird because again, it's evening time. So you guys are getting this, gonna get this up a little late, but I'm actually doing this right now because I just got home from work, doing this right now and putting it up. So here's my little keychain. It's so pretty. It's the piece and there's the back. And here it is. Now on this, if I want to, now, first of all, this one's a little longer than I normally make, but she wanted it long because she wants to be able to like clip key and clip it into her purse and it just hang down in there. So that's why this one is longer. Now also, if I wanted to, I could put a name on the back of this with my Cricut, lots of different things I can do. So, here this is super cute and now on this video we're putting it together going a little bit slow now sometimes it's really hard to work on things and get it under the camera great so what i did was if you go through this i tried to do it really slow and show you sorry my dog hit the thing um however what i did was i just put a small one together again for a second time. I made sure I was under super good and to show it really, really well. So if you need to see it again at the end of putting this together, I have another one of just showing you that bead technique just so that you can see it again if you need to, but look how pretty that is, it's so pretty. Anyways, I hope you like it. And here is my keychain. And I hope that you're able to follow it. And I hope it's helpful. And I hope you have a blessed and beautiful night, friends. And I'll see you later. Bye. All right, so here's the supplies that I'm gonna use. I have this bead and stretch rope here. This is from Hobby Lobby. And I bought it when it was $3.99, but I bought it when it was on sale. So it was even cheaper than that. It was like 50% off. So I think I paid like two bucks for it. I like this and I also like the wax string. Both of them work really well. This has a little bit more give to it than the wax string, of course, but I like both of them really well. And then I've got my beads that I'm going to be using and this is them and I'm going to be using this little cowboy hat. This is my clasp that I'm going to be using. Always make sure that your clasp works before you put it on because it's awful when you get it on and it doesn't work. And then I'm going to be using this as my little embellishment. So my beads, I get a lot of my beads from Kara and company it's c-a-r-a -A and c-o i found her on tiktok and i really like i love the beads that's where i get the little cowboy hats Ooh, as i throw it and then some of my beads also come from aliexpress it takes a lot longer um you know less expensive of course and then my planar resin so these i get from aliexpress and this one now you don't if you are not somebody that does uv resin like you don't have to do that i just like to that's like 
one of my things. So I'm going to be, before we get started, I'm going to be doing some UV resin on this. And I'm going to be using this Urban Cowboy from Glitter Chip. You can see this really old bottle. It's lasted me a long time, but I love this color. This, and there's another one that I could use. It's, let me show you. This one here, Rhinestone Cowboy. Like this is another one. Like these are some of my favorite glitters. This color is just to die for. But I'm going to be using the Urban Cowboy. And I'm using the Resin Rockers UV Resin. I love it. I have had a couple people send me some different ones that they say I should try, which I will once, you know, I've used what I have. But right now I just have plenty. So I'm going to use the resin rockers. And I like it a lot. It gets very hard. All right. So what we're going to do is work on this other piece of it while the planar resin is under the light. All right, so when you are doing this, you want to double over your string that you're using and you want a little bit more than what you're gonna need. And then, and you know, also like decide how you want your pieces to go. So mine's gonna go like this. And then this and then my other piece on the end. So I'm gonna see how much I need and I want it to be a little bit more than double, you know, what I what I have. So I'm just gonna cut that off. Oh, look, my scissors are, these are from the Grinch that I did. They're all stuck together. I need different scissors to use. All right, now when I'm not using bouncy string, then I take it and I would go through like this and then just pull it through. The problem is that when you're using bouncy string, it will, it does like it will bounce up and it will stay up like this. So when I'm using this bouncy string, I actually just Put it through this way like this and then I tie a little knot to keep it in place. All right so now I'm going to just put my um, my beads on and I'm going in both strings and I'm gonna go in both strings all the way up until the last two. Oh, sorry. Dude, my dogs just scared me. They're in the garage with me, so I'm sorry. They probably hear something outside. Now, if this video is slow, I'm really sorry, but I want this to be like just very slow and easy to see. Because, um, you know, I try and sometimes I'll speed things up because I don't want, you know, these super long videos that are hard to watch, but sometimes it makes it hard for people to see. All right, so again, I'm still, I'm just doing all of my, and you, I'm doing all of my beads up to the last two, 
and you can make this as long or short as you want to. All right, there's no right or wrong with that. All right, so now I'm going to just grab my planner resin and we'll do the rest of it. All right, so here is my little planner resin. Now I just took, I have a little drill that I use from Amazon. I'll put it in the description. It's super, super useful. And I just put my little hole in there. So I'm gonna put this just at, oh, and here's what the back looks like. And then if you want, like you could use your Cricut and you know put a name on there and then put another thing of um, UV resin on it. So she, the person I'm making this for wasn't sure if she wanted a name or not, and she's gonna let me know. And if she changes her mind, I could just put it on there and then put the UV resin, no big deal. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my last two beads. So now I'm separating out my string, all right? And I'm putting one, my bead on one string and then Now I'm going to put this on. All right. So now this string, you see this last piece and if it were a bead, whatever the last piece is, now I'm going to take it, I'm going to wrap it around it needs to be like a trinket to do this because a bead would be sort of weird, I think. Okay, and now I'm bringing it back through the last two beads that I only put on one. So again, I put it around this piece here and then back up through the beads again. All right, so now I've got two pieces of string. I'm going to take them and I'm just going to pull them super tight together. Super tight together. And then what I'm going to do is I tie a surgeon's knot. So Take the two strings, so around and around, and then pull it really, really tight. And then a knot really, really tight. And then I'm gonna cut it. If I didn't have such sticky scissors, there is my keychain. Now this one's a little longer because she wanted it longer. Um, I definitely, you know, could have, I definitely could have put like less beads. If I were just making it, if somebody didn't say, hey, I want it longer, I would have used either a bigger clasp, but this is the one she wanted, and I would have, myself, I would have gone like four less beads, but this is how she wanted it. So this is what we're doing. And this turns out so super cute. I made the camera here so that I can really make sure that you guys are seeing me. Now, now mind you, these are not anything that I'm actually doing. This is just so that I can show you the bead technique, okay? 
I just grabbed some random stuff. And these are actually some cute little ornaments for mini tree that I made that I'm gonna share. All right, so I'm just gonna wrap this through. So say this is my keychain, and if I'm using regular um, stuff, I could just wrap it through like that. With this stuff, like with this squishy stuff, like I said, I would actually just wrap it around and put it through and then put a knot. All right, so I have my first two beads. I'm going through both, both strings are going through the bead. Again, both strings are going through the bead. And sorry, I'm just watching to make sure that I'm letting you see. Okay, so I've got these two strings, two beads. Now I separate them, right? And now I have only one string going through my bead. All right, so, so these two are on two strings. This is on one string. So this is my second string where I'm gonna use to tie it, okay? So on that same string, here is the bead. All right, so again, these two beads are on both strings. These two beads are on only one string. I've got this string out this way and this string is over here and where I'm gonna tie it in the knot. So now whatever my thing is that I'm using on the end, so I'm gonna put it through that and I bring it around and this same string that I brought around, so this is the same string that I put two beads on. So see, there's my two beads, my string. So I'm going around that piece so that it's tucked in and then I'm going back through my beads. And it, and my bead isn't going gonna come off because I've got this thing here that's gonna keep it in place, right? So that's the first bead and now through that second bead. Right there, see? So now, just gonna pull it tight. So now I want to pull all of this tight together. So I'm gonna pull all of this up tight. So I take my string and just sort of move everything up, pull it tight. And I can take it, just pull it, keep pulling it till it's tight. And I want these two things to be tight together. So now I'm gonna do my surgeon's knot. So I just take my two pieces and I over, over again, and then take it and just pull it really, really, really tight because I want I want this to be super tight. Just super, super tight. Now I'm gonna be taking this apart, but then I would just cut these two pieces off. And you could put some glue on your knot, or you could just take, I usually take something and just shove my knot down into the hole of my ball, give it a little twist, and it stays on. Now this isn't tight, because I'm taking this apart, this isn't. You know, this is just to show you guys one more time. All right. I hope it was helpful. I hope I made it so that you could see it. And listen, I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. Thanks, friends. I'll see you later. Bye.